एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम welcome to s chand academy so in this lecture part 1 we will be discussing definite and improper integrals basically evaluation of definite and improper integrals so uh, we will be learning what is a definite integral you have already done in your 12th class where limits are given we call it definite integral where you don't have limits we call that integral indefinite integrals sometimes uh, the situation is that the integral seems to be that it uh, the limit will be existing but it is not existing then we see like how we can calculate if there is a possibility such integrals are called improper integrals so uh, there are integrals where uh, limit seems to be finite but the integrand will uh, will be in infi infinite we call such integrals improper integrals so in this lecture we'll be learning how to calculate if there is a possibility to calculate such improper integrals hello everyone i am dr seema thakran if you want to know the concept in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so in this part we'll be uh, uh, evaluating improper integrals how many types of in improper integrals we have and when we call a integral improper because uh, there is there are proper integrals also and improper integrals also proper means that you have you are calculating and it has an answer there is no problem in calculation or there is no problem with the limit but improper integrals are different but sometimes the limit will exist the sub, uh, the uh, integral will have answer sometimes that integral will not have answer so we'll see such situations so uh, let's start with uh, uh, definite integrals and improper integrals so uh, let's start with definite and improper integral anyhow you should know that what exactly integration gives you integration or integral answer is basically area answer it means if you are evaluating a to be any function it means this is suppose this is the function a to b it gives you area under this uh, this gives you area under this uh, function this is your x this is y it means integration is connected to area and anyhow other uh, uh, depends like double integration also connected to area and if we go so a little like advanced triple area sorry triple integration uh, linked to uh, volume so a to b fx dx means that area under this uh, curve you can see definite and indefinite mean meaning definite integral indefinite only two types and means that in indefinite you just integrate you don't apply the limit you don't apply the limit in this case the answer will come out to be some function capital f you can say plus a constant the answer is of this form if you don't have the limits of integration definite integral means you have the limit as we discuss so it means it gives you the area and that will be obviously the exact area or you can say it will round off or approx a, a, a approximate area now this is indefinite this is definite but there are integrals suppose if i am i am just uh, calculating this 1 to 2 x dx this is anyhow there is no problem because x1 x2 the function is for the limits particularly limits are 1 to 2 there is no issue with the, the function that is x and with respect to x if you are integrating finally your answer is x square by 2 and when you are substituting the limits how you substitute the limit first you go with the upper limit that is and instead of x you are substituting because these are x limits 
So it means 2 square by 2 minus 1 by 2. Finally, the answer is 3 by 2. Obviously, it will be square unit because it is giving you single integration and double gives you the area. So that is why I have uh, written the unit square unit and there is no problem. So it means it is proper integral. So you should understand proper. Now I am taking improper one. And the first question is improper integrals are of the type this is my in improper integrals what will happen either the for improper integrals either the limits will be infinite or the function will be unbounded unbounded for the limits And I just make you understand what exactly. Can you see the limit is infinite uh, in this case? So it means it is improper. It is improper. And it's not that every improper uh, like limit is infinite. We are saying it's improper. It might be that the uh, calculation is simple and it's easy to calculate. But the problems where the limit uh, calculation is difficult, those problems we are discussing here. If you can calculate the limit, that is not the discussion point. So, this is improper. Then suppose I am taking 1 to 2 and this expression x minus 1, x minus 2. Can you see when, when I am substituting 1, 1 by 0 infinity or at x equal to 1, the function is unbounded. So, it means it is improper. At x equal to 2 also, you can see the function is improper because the function is unbounded. I, I, okay, I hope you understand unbounded means what? Unbounded means the value is infinite. You can see 1 by 0 is infinite. 1 by when you are substituting 2, either 2 or 1 on both the values it is unbounded. It is infinite. So, this is the meaning of it is unbounded. So this is another, but it might be that only, it's not that both the points uh, should be creating the problem. It might be that either one of the point or both the points are creating a problem. Creating problems means the function is unbounded when you are putting the uh, points. So these are unbound uh, improper forms and there could be that uh, the situation is 1, 2, 2 and only one point is creating problem. You can see this time two is not creating problem, one is creating but still it is improper. So this is improper integral. Now uh, uh, the, the another uh, uh, term which is related to improper integral is convergent, convergence and divergence. Convergence means limit will be uh, the integral will be finite limit it means there is some answer for the integral it means the convergence means there is some answer for the limit uh, sorry uh, uh, lim uh, the integral answer is integral is finite and the meaning is that there is some value of the integral. Divergence means that obviously the answer is infinity, either infinity or minus infinity. This is the uh, divergence scenario. So I am taking one problem to discuss. So 1 to infinity dx by x. This is improper. Reason being the limits are infinite. 
so dx upon x what uh, uh, how how we calculate when the case is uh, infinite uh, in finite if it is 1 to 2 there is uh, only uh, we integrate and we see but if it is infinity or minus infinity we change it to how we change it this is the change and the change is that you introduce a variable instead of infinity t or any any variable of your choice and limit t tending to infinity Ex anyhow it's just the same thing but the way of presenting is different so dx by x so it is giving you log x because 1 by x integration is log x limits from 1 to t and finally your t is tending to infinity how we apply the limits upper limit minus lower limit so it is log t minus log 1 and so log t minus log 1 is 0. So you can see when you are tending uh, the t limit infinity it is infinity it means this is improper and this is divergent uh, case diver because it is uh, the answer is infinite and uh, anyhow for the improper this is the procedure so uh, this is uh, one example so this is the end of part one in this lecture we have learned how to calculate or what are definite integrals then how uh, what are improper integrals types of improper integrals some examples we did on improper integrals how to uh, evaluate if there is a possibility in case the improper integral is convergent and how to calculate in such situations the improper integrals. If you want to know the concept in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Please like, share and subscribe S. Chan Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned, keep watching upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.